Earlier, we brought you part of Brandon Scott's interview with Mayor Jean Stothard, her first interview since this weekend's horrific murders. And Brandon joins us live again with more of his conversation with the mayor. Brandon? John Mallory, since these shootings, we've heard a lot of cries calling for the city to do something to stop the violence. So today, we went down to City Hall to talk to the mayor and members of the city council to ask if the city has done enough to stop this violence. First, Mayor Jean Stothard. This is not one person's fault. It's not one person that is the solution, or it's not one person's responsibility. You know, it's the whole community. And if we want to, to end this, I know the emotions now, of course, are extremely high. Um, and, and saying, I want to talk to the mayor, or I want to talk to the, the legislature, or whatever. But we all need to talk to each other. And, and the, the answer is out in the community. You know, there's a multiple things that the city has done, working with civic groups, um, with uh, beefing up our number of police officers, adding to the gang unit, adding gang specialists, working with our law enforcement partners. You know, we're, we're, we're stepping up everything we possibly can. We also spoke with City Council Member Pete Festerson and Council President Ben Gray. Here's what they had to say. It shakes the whole community. It definitely shakes us as elected officials, too. We need to stay the course and continue our efforts to fight violence uh, as a community uh, and continue to address poverty in our community, which I think is one of our biggest challenges. I don't think it rests with just the police department and the city council and the city hall and the mayor. It, it resides with all of us to find ways to stop the revolving door that seems to be going on in the Nebraska State Penitentiary System, number one. Number two, we have to address uh, mentally ill individuals. And number three, we've got to provide job opportunities for those who are ex-felons and others who once they get out here can't find anything else to do. And so at the end of the day, they go back to what they know. Council President Gray, along with Festerson and Mayor Stothert, will be at a community meeting at Metro Community College. That is Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. The aim of that meeting, to discuss solutions to stop these shootings and stop the bloodshed. Reporting live with photographer M.H. Danker, I'm Brandon Scott, WWT 6 News.